I entitled today's devotion, Reluctant Gratitude, so that we can reflect on our own reluctance to give thanks. And I wanted to start off by telling this familiar story about Jesus with the ten lepers. Jesus was passing between Jerusalem, or he was on his way to Jerusalem rather, and he was passing between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers. And they stood at a distance as was required by the law, and they lifted up their voices and they said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go, and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. And then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. He was a Samaritan, an outsider. And Jesus answered, We're not ten cleansed. Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. You know, it's astounding that after all that we have received, we tend to be more like the nine lepers who never returned. We often forget to give thanks. Or we simply take the amazing gifts that we have received for granted. And it often seems to take some tragedy or some great turmoil in our life to open our eyes to the amazing gifts that we have all around us. It seems that Thanksgiving is something that is contrary to our sinful nature. We are reluctant to give gratitude for the many things that we have received. And to further illustrate this point, Emerson said that if the stars came out only once a year, everyone would stay up all night just to behold them. You see, we've seen the stars so often that we don't bother to look at them anymore. We have grown accustomed to our blessings. The Israelites are another example of a group of people that were accustomed to their blessings. And God had to chasten the people. You see, God had fed the nation with heavenly manna, that that heavenly bread, every morning. And yet the people got tired of it. They said, there is nothing at all before our eyes except this manna. Nothing but manna. They were experiencing a miracle of God's provision every morning. Yet... They were no longer excited about it. Nothing but manna, they cried. You see, our sinful nature makes us reluctant to give thanks. And so I would invite you, as you enter those quiet moments of prayer and contemplation, to always make sure that you are spending time in thanksgiving. Silently reflect on every blessing in your life, from the air you breathe to the ground beneath your feet. Every aspect in your life and in mine are a gift from our Creator. And I know that there are times when it may be difficult to see it that way. But God's promise in Romans that God works all things together for good for those who are called according to His purpose still stands for you today. You see, the problem is if we refuse to give our Heavenly Father thanks, in many ways we are ignoring His status as our provider. We are ignoring who we are as His children. Therefore, let us never miss an opportunity to give thanks, not just this week, but every day in prayer. And as we sit around the Thanksgiving table, Let us start a conversation of thanksgiving that continues every night through the things that that we are thankful for. And as I said, any time that we are in prayer, let us always remember to give thanks. Please pray with me.